Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and fantastic science from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and in this episode we're going to learn about the experiments students from the Milwaukee School of Engineering and Carthage College are launching to the edge of space using high altitude balloons. I had the opportunity to interview this year's Elijah High Altitude Balloon Team to learn how their space-bound payloads will attempt experiments in energy generation and wait for it music creation. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is another in a series of mini episodes covering the events of the Apollo 11 50th anniversary celebration held at the Milwaukee Discovery World Museum on July 20th. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. So without any further delay, let's kick this off. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. My name is Nicholas, I'm, uh, I'm going to be a senior in college uh, this following fall. And uh, this is the Elijah High Altitude Balloon Payload Team. And uh, what it does, every single year it's a new cohort of either four or five students where they get to sort of define and make their own experiments that will then get lifted up to about 115,000 feet. So it ranges from everything from trying to generate power to looking at like balloon turbulence and, and, and dynamics and also different scientific stuff like radiation and, and weather and, and such. Great, where do you conduct your experiments? Sure, uh, so we conduct our experiments kind of um, in, in different universities. Mainly it's at Milwaukee School of Engineering, but we've also partnered with UWM um, for some other cases like either using deep vacuum chambers or some other stuff. So this is last year's payload. Currently, our, our, our this year's payload is being under construction and they would happily love to talk about their projects, about what they're doing now. Um, uh, but last year, it, they tried to do a, an entirely 3D printed capsule and then they also monitored um, a lot of balloon like advanced dynamics of the turbulence and chaotic nature and as well as trying to generate power and also trying to create it's pretty cool they tried to create like a full capsule for some insects that they lifted up into the oh, atmosphere that is amazing. so what what are we looking at inside can you tell me about the electronics the what do you have in sure. there? Yeah, so it's it's mostly all Arduino based. Um, over here, we actually have a Bluetooth uh, sensor where we actually communicate up to another Arduino Nano, all the way up inside the to get this different pressure differential. Um, well, and what was kind of funny about that is actually upon bursting of the balloon, that capsule, because we you know you have plastic shrinks in extreme cold. So at negative 40, we forgot to take that into account. So the actual capsule shrunk and got flung out, oh, wow. you know, half a mile up in the stratosphere. That's how you learn. Right? <laughs> yeah. But you know, science, yeah. you get to learn yeah. about all the aspects. Um, but then, and then down here was, um, it's actually a copper round tube with a magnetic um, cylinder that actually oscillated back and forth. It actually generated a voltage whenever it hits some type of oh, turbulence. Okay. My name's Katie Wolfgram. I'm an incoming sophomore at the Milwaukee School of Engineering. And I'm part of the Elijah High Altitude Balloon Payload Team. So my project has been focusing especially on trying to generate power from the turbulence that the balloon is going to experience in flight. To do this, I'm going to use motors and asymmetrically load the shaft of the motors so that when the turbulence causes the payload to bob up and down or rotate, the shaft will also rotate with the motion and I'm going to use this power to charge a LiPo battery. Oh. Yeah, and to demonstrate kind of how this is all going to happen. So I have two motors, and they're hooked up to an RGB LED. And when you spin the wheels that are attached to the motors, uh, the LED lights up a different color. If you spin them both simultaneously, because the colors blend. And yeah, so this is just kind of demonstrating, uh, first of all, that the motors generate power. And secondly, I'm planning to have two motors in the payload uh, in different orientations. And I'm hoping that both of these motors will generate power when different motion is experienced. 
and both of them together will generate the most power, I'm hoping. Okay. So. so right now, is this a concept or do you have like a prototype or? I have done some testing. I have, yeah, I've done some testing. My concept works. Uh, I'm trying to optimize it right now and just figure out what kind of counterweights I need and how that's all going to how that's all going to look in the end. And okay. The so, if you'd like to learn more information about this project, go to wsgc.carthage.edu and search for Elijah High Altitude Balloon Payload Team. Hi, my name is Mo Washburn. I'm an incoming junior at the Milwaukee School of Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. Uh, today, I am a member of the 2019 Elijah Balloon, High Altitude Balloon Payload Project. And the, the sub-project, the research directive that I'm spearheading is developing a, a program, a, so, it's a software program to take in big data, large data sets, and generate music out of it. And music. the purpose, yes, to generate music out of it. Yes. What kind of music? It's, it's a process called sonification. So I also have a music background with a music degree. Okay. So the kind of music is really relative. It's uh, whatever kind of music I choose to create. It can be jazz. It could be uh, traditional Western uh, structured music, Western music theory. It could be country music if you like. It could be space music if you like. Whatever that might. Okay. Whatever that might uh, mean for you. But uh, the purpose of uh, doing this is it's a very sympathetic approach to, uh, to research. And so the, the sympathetic movement is one that, that really uh, came to light in the past 10 years or so. And its purpose and, and kind of goal is to make sure that all of the advancements in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and, and, and mathematics are accessible to everyone. So those who are uh, laymen or unlearned lesser education and also those who might have any disabilities both uh, mental or, or any other any other disabilities or, or any other faculties as I ramble on so the purpose is uh, in an application to take in uh, a lot of data that represents some very complex and advanced scientific and engineering and, and mathematical applications and be able to observe those through music so that anyone who can listen to music can understand what's happening in different data trends and different relationships in science without having to know all the scientific jargon and all the all the education behind it. That's wonderful. I think it's a great example of blending the A in STEAM yes. in, in the science, technology, and engineering yes. portion. That's wonderful. Definitely. All right, so uh, what's next? So you're gonna you're gonna go through your project, you're gonna collect, you're gonna create this music. Right. What are you gonna do with that music? So that music um, can take in many forms. So at the moment to date I have uh, pulled in atmospheric data from other from previous projects for the Elijah High Altitude Balloon Payload teams, and use that to begin to develop the first uh, the foundation of the program, the software. So I have uh, used a, uh, uh, a, a a certain song that's been created that I probably can't mention for copyright purposes okay. <laughs> in, in my testing, but I've used that to, uh, to do something as as simple and literal as using a very temperature throughout a flight to then pan music from left to right. So the farther right the music goes, the higher the temperature is, and the farther left the music goes, the lower the temperature is. So that's a direct example of something that's very uh, uni unilateral and understanding how music can help you understand the game. If you'd like to learn more about this project, you can check it out at wsgc.carthage.edu and search for the Elijah High Altitude Balloon Payload Team.